Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. This is Feroz Manji from Daraja Press. Welcome to our show today. Right. And what can be, it can be done again on a national scale in terms of our industries, in terms of anything we want to, we can do it. Right. So we what is happening in Kenya today is... Huh? Are there new Camarifus? Are there new possibilities? What is happening? I can actually say something on that because I, I was I was in Kenya uh, briefly for a couple of weeks uh-huh. and, and I saw, I met a group of young people who are actually um, going through a phase out for revival. So, uh-huh. sort of uh-huh. I, I met one musician, I don't know whether he would actually, he, he wouldn't mind if I mentioned him. He's uh-huh. called Primary Game. Uh-huh. He's brilliant. And he's uh-huh. come up with this this patchwork group called Tore Amon. Uh-huh. And uh, with the idea of actually using music, theatre, um, everything together. Are you, talking, are you talking about a reggae? Yes, reggae, Kwame reggae. Kwame reggae, yeah, Tore Amon. Uh-huh. Yes, uh-huh. He's, he's brilliant. And um, I'll, 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 he, he wouldn't mind uh, me mentioning him in this forum because he, he's a brilliant musician. I met with him. And I'm glad that's going on. I- as I said, I've been away from Kenya for 50 years, so I don't really know what's going on in the ground right now. But I'm glad those things are happening. You know, Kwame, of course, has been very good with uh, music and so on. I think his song, rendering of the Mau Mau song, uh, uh, Yes. Uh, yes, yes. By, has been seen now by 4 million viewers or something like that. Incredible. Yes. So, so I saw I saw that and and I I reached out to to Kwame and I met with him and mm-hmm. and he he is one of these people who I think his thinking is way beyond um, even where I was at that stage. So I was like, wow, young people really coming up with these brilliant ideas. But one thing I want to say for you is actually Camerido lives through people like me yeah. because I'm doing all this because of. People like Ngugi. Without Ngugi, what the younger there would not be me. Yeah. There would not be millions of, of Kenyans who read Ngugi's work and we got inspired to come and, and do stuff like this. So so Camerido lives through through us and, and other people um, and I other think... children from from uh, working class families in Kenya. Yeah. So it never <laughs> dies. Camerido will never die. 